conservation efforts, and indeed, whether there are plans afoot to strip them of their land rights on the island. Gaston Brown is the Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda. He came into the News Hour studio earlier. How is the emergency response going? The relief part of it has gone very well. Unfortunately, the rebuilding part of it is moving painfully slow, and that is because of a lack of resources. The estimated cost of um, reconstruction is in the region of 250 million US dollars. We've had some pledges, but so far the pledges have not exceeded 10% of the required funding. And as a small island state, a micro state, I mean, to raise 250 million US dollars is actually beyond our means. And all that will happen is that if we had to borrow, let's say, 150, 200 million US dollars, is that it will further strain our financial resources. Now, uh, this disaster was not a result of any wrongdoing on our part. We are literally victims of climate change. And we have the view that the profligate users of fossil fuel, that they have an obligation to assist. I mean, whereas some individuals are denying climate change. You know, and that's what we call a form of um, romantic sensationalism, obviously for partisan gain. It is true that there has been this myth that the island is owned in common by the Barbudans. It was legally impossible for that to have been the case. But for some reason, that myth was passed down from generation to generation. The constitution is very clear. The land in Barbuda is owned by the crown. Traditionally, we have not done freehold or new leases. The locals there, they have considered themselves to be owners in common. Uh, there is no such constitutional provision after the storm, we said to them that we would exercise the option of giving them free will title to the land if they so desire. And there's a reason for that. At least a thousand of the homes in Barbuda, uh, of the 1300 homes in Barbuda were either, if not totally destroyed, significantly damaged. The government will have to rebuild a number of homes and the mortgages will be based on the ability to pay but you cannot have an effective mortgage system on land that is owned in common. So there will have to be a carve out for those Barbudans in which we give them title and they have a mortgage, be it one tenth of the overall value of the property, whatever it is, they must have some skin in the game. And it's on that basis we said to them that there has to be a carve out so that we can create that mortgage product, which before did not exist in Barbuda. And that's one of the reasons why they never insured because the properties generally were built from savings. But having that freehold title would give the Barbudans who have been displaced by the hurricane the opportunity to rebuild. So all we did was to offer them an empowering option. They said they don't want it, it's not a problem. We have not taken any steps to change the Barbuda Land Act. But in any event, even if we wish at this point to extend freehold title, we can do so because the land is vested in the crown. So there's nothing stopping us. Uh, clearly, you would want to sell the idea to the Barbudan people. If they reject it, it's an odd issue. That was the Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda, Gaston Brown.